Dear students, unfortunately, they have done it again. Need PG exam has been postponed again, and I can only imagine the anger and the anguish and the pain you must be feeling right now. When I got to know about the news, I felt really bad. I felt really angry, and uh, my anguish or my anger is nothing in comparison to what you must be feeling because you are the ones who have been struggling and suffering and hoping that you will be out of it soon. This this is what happens, right? Uh, when when we are preparing for an exam like NEET PG, which requires complete, uh, you know, complete surrender of everything that we like, complete sacrifice, not talking to friends, not going out, not spending time with family, just spending the entire day in front of a screen, and uh, the only thing that keeps us moving is the belief or the hope that things will become better soon, and there are few days left. I'm I'm sure in the last couple of days, many of you must be telling yourself that few days more. Uh, just bear this pain few days more. After that, you'll be on the other side. That is what all of us do. And I keep saying that take it to the last day. But you know the unfortunate part is that they keep changing the last day. So if you're feeling angry today, if you're feeling overwhelmed today, if you're feeling that what is the point of this, uh, you are not wrong. Uh, you are very justified in having all those responses. And uh, you have every right to be angry at anybody. You can be angry at government or the officials or the agency. Or the bureaucrats, or even the teachers, that is okay. That is understandable. This is utter nonsense. They should not have done this. This shows that they don't have slightest of uh, care for the students and what the students go through while preparing for exams like NEET PG. But that is not news for us. This is this has been happening for decades in this century uh, in this country, and uh, I mean not not uh, really a new news for us. uh as disappointed we are as shaken we are as overwhelmed we are uh we have to find a way out we have to again think of what we can do and you know after after expressing everything after ventilating after uh, feeling bad finally we have to ask the question what now so what now will have two components the first component of what now is we should not be thinking of these postponements in terms of only the extra days that you would get for your preparation that would be a very very uh, immature way of looking at uh, this postponement of course you'll get more days and uh, you'll have to find a way out we'll have to make a strategy of using uh, these uh, uh, days that are given to us what we also have to remember is that to keep ourselves going we need to ensure that we stay in that frame of mind to use these days If if we are not in that frame of mind, uh, then there is no point of giving us any extra days. So first thing first, we'll have to replenish our fuel. We'll have to again get ourselves back in that frame of mind. We have to accept that something bad has happened. We have to acknowledge first of all that it is a bad thing. This is not done. This is not fair. And after that, we have to think what now and uh, what can be done about it. So as I was saying that. uh first of all we have to get into that frame of mind where we can plan further and probably taking 48 hours off not thinking about the exam much not thinking about the dates not speculating about the dates not discussing when the next date would be announced maybe watching a netflix series or amazon series maybe going out with your friends maybe watching a movie is what you have to do uh you have to ensure that the fuel remains within you to fight the next uh, chapter of this battle as far as the strategy is concerned it would depend a lot upon uh, uh, the number of days that are given to us before the next exam if they say that the exam is in the second half of july we'll have a different strategy if they tell us that the exam will be taken 10 days from today we'll have a different strategy so we'll have to wait for the announcement of the date uh, before finalizing the strategy but if they delay it probably in 48 to 72 hours we will we'll start with something uh, the biggest challenge that we would face is to uh, get back into the study uh, zone again or study uh, mode again uh i think uh, uh, at cerebellum we'll be doing something uh, probably we'll have some classes probably we'll have some kind of revision probably we'll start with the late night pyq marathon series again uh, we'll do whatever we can do to get you back into that uh, study zone into that study rhythm and uh, uh, you know initial part would be tough uh, but i think sooner or later you would get back into that rhythm entrance examinations as i have said multiple times don't only test your academic knowledge they as well or they as much test 
the attitude of yours or the temperament of yours how how well can you deal with these sudden unexpected and severe situations is also a test so i think another challenge has been thrown towards us and we have no option but to navigate that challenge so again i don't want to put any kind of positive spin on the developments of today and uh, i think it would not be honest on our part to you know every time say that you got more days and study more that that is not the way it happens in the real world but uh, a more somber reality check that see at this stage of our life anybody can mess with us anybody can postpone the exam anybody can prepon the exam anybody can change the pattern of the exam and we don't have much options but to but to you know just continue with our studies and do what they want us to do i think it's important for you to crack this exam it's important for you to get this pg done with so that you reach a stage in your life where you don't really have to wait for or depend upon the the you know stupid announcements that these agencies make once once you are done with your md once you are done with your professional journey and once you start your own clinic or you start working somewhere things would be more in your control and uh, that is probably the last thing that i want to convey you that uh, we have to bear all this nonsense that is happening with us so that we can reach a state where these people can no longer trouble us they do, they can no longer harass us so tough times bad situation but let's hang in there take care